an edgy, quiet place come half time and then you stirred the pigs a little bit. Um, yeah, we did. To be honest, I just thought uh, really, really proud for the boys. I think you know when we seen you know the team sheet, uh, we were quite surprised. To be honest, I think you know uh, we were expecting a couple more you know with the, the younger boys to come into it, which they've been introducing in the league. Um, and then when you see a fully loaded team like that, you do start to think, wow, this is you know big, big football now in a way as such. You know, coming to Manchester United, but uh, again, we stuck to the game plan. Uh, but the, the idea was to. Frustrate them, close the gaps in front of the four, um, our back four, and I thought we'd done that to a man really. Um, I can't remember, you know, obviously they give away a territory in the, the possession and such, but uh, I was really proud of that first half performance. Did you think they responded that way in the second half? I mean, you presumably sort of talking about giving the plan the same one. We were in a way, but I just felt as though we had opportunities to counter first half and we didn't actually take the ball. And the, the, we went into half time and just said we need to take more of the ball. And I think that's what happened to thought. You know, we've had our better shot at goal in a way, and before you know it, six, seven seconds, it's in the back of your net. So, uh, you know, it's things that we can learn from, but you see it every every week, you know, in the Premier League, how these boys can just turn it on in a split second. If you don't keep that gap closed, as Marcus has found that little pocket in the left-hand side, which we tried to plug up, especially in that first half, which I thought we did, um, he gets that opportunity, and you, you're hoping he's going to put it wide, but it ends up into the top, top, uh, top corner, so... Uh, yeah, it's one of them. It's, you know, you, sometimes you just, you know, you, you you lose a goal to a top class player. Well, they, well, they said on TV that he thought <coughs> the first half was better, it was better for United than, than United than the second one. Do you, do you agree? Is it surprising to hear? When you... Um, I listen. I, I, you look when we go back and watch the analysis. Some of their one twos and some of their passing and passing and moving and passing and following and creating overloads is. Is extraordinary, and all we, we planned to do was just to try and plug them holes where they try and play. That's the biggest thing, and I thought we were able to do that. Um, obviously, I think you know the, the goal definitely opens it up. There's no question of that. I think straight, you know, I think 50 odd minutes, um, and then before you know it, you find yourself three 0 down. And I think we just, especially the second goal, we didn't really condense again. Really, I think on a turnover, we didn't really close them gaps. And that's when they were able to get into them little channel areas, which in the first half we, we plugged up. Uh, but again, you know, I'm, I'm really, really proud of the players for the application and uh, the attitude. And, you know, to come to Manchester United um, so far in a cup competition to, what, to where we've come from, it's a, it's a brilliant achievement. So, John, you must be so proud of the whole run that you've had not just tonight, but no, I'm mentally proud. Yeah, um, it's been a, a wonderful journey for the players, the staff, the chairman, the fans. You're looking at the fans tonight. You know, close to six thousand fans. It's it's fantastic for them. You know, taking a day off work to do the travelling. They're going to get home. Uh, you know, early hours in the morning. If not, they're going to stay over. So it's a huge commitment by all the fans. But um, we've got to use this again because it's a wonderful occasion. There's no getting around it to play Manchester United. Uh, you know, Old Trafford, it's a wonderful occasion. Um, to take them to nil at half time, it's another, you know, shot in the arm for us. And now we've got to build on that. And um, we've only got now the league to play for. And that's now, you know, come thick and fast over the festive periods. And we've got to get ourselves ready for that. Yeah, just about quickly, weren't you, ahead of Saturday's game? Yeah, you know, the chairman's looked after us. We're able to stay over tonight. So we'll, we'll get a good, uh, good night's sleep, recover well in the morning, and then travel back. And then, as I say, we'll do the analysis tomorrow and Friday for Carlisle. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>